Yeah. Back. Back. Back with another freaking video. Back with another freaking video. Bring you another one of these. Trillion. You already know what it is, man. It's time to go ahead and get it on started. Go ahead and bring them on in. Y'all, we are back with another freaking video. So glad you are with us. We are, today is December the 14th. A few more days until the end of the year, guys. Christmas is coming. How y'all doing? What y'all got going on? And who we got today? today? All right, so y'all know, man, we are, we've been doing these Netflix specials. So I had to do the next one on the list. I had to, we got, um, you already know who it is. Go and tell them. <laughs> Are oh, you gonna do it? Repeat it, y'all. We love so, Fluffy. He's hilarious. All right, so we got Fluffy, and we're about to jump it off. Uh, it's this one's probably gonna be um, a seven part. Well, I'm gonna say probably a six part or a seven part. Okay. But um, so let's, let's go. And I think I heard a little copyright music, so I might chop up that little front part. But we'll see. Okay. Oh man, that's a long walk. Thank you so much, Houston. Wow. One year ago, this city was flipped upside down by a hurricane. Un cabrón named Harvey. Cabrón. And they said that this city would never be the same. I think it's beautiful that a year later, we're all here celebrating together the fact that this city is resilient and you guys persevered. Houston strong, baby. Yeah, that's serious. In all sincerity, you guys, I'm not trying to kiss your ass. I already got your money. <laughs> Bring it to Houston. I love this town. I've been coming here for 20 years. 20 years. Started off performing at a comedy club called The Laugh Stop. And then, of course, we jumped over to the improv. And then I performed everywhere. I even did a one-nighter in Tomball. That's a long story for the people at home. I won't even get into that. I'm like, where is that? I want to give you guys a heads up and let you know now that tonight I feel extra comfortable. You're going you're gonna to notice that uh -oh. you might hear a little bit more Spanish than you normally would. Okay. Let's go. And you can't do that just anywhere, but you can do that in Houston. Now to everyone watching at home who's freaking out like, oh my God. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> if I say something in Spanish, my promise is to translate immediately so that everyone enjoys the show. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Because I know the second I said Spanish, people are freaking out. You know? <laughs> All the people that drove in from the woodlands are like, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we speak a little Spanish now. We, we're learning Spanish, guys. We're learning. And for everyone at home, what does he mean by that? The people from the woodlands, you know. <laughs> Is that snobby? Uh-huh. I thought you were from the hills that I don't understand Spanish. Out there for the woods. I know he is not referring to us. <laughs> the nerve of him. He needs to go back where he came from over by the airline road. That's right. I know where you keep your brown people. <laughs> this is awesome. This always pisses off Netflix. They're like, Gabriel, we really wish you would just do a show that's general, that everybody understands. Why do you have to make your show so personal? Only people in that city are going to get it. Well, when you have an arena full of people, you want them to get it. You want that extra personal, special touch. I don't care what they say, I already got the check. <laughs> <sighs> so let me give you a, a heads up as to what has happened since the last time I did a special. Um, my son Frankie is now 19 years old. Wow. 
19 years old, high school graduate. He has all his shots, ladies. <laughs> People tell me all the time, you know, why do you talk about your son so much? Because <laughs> he won't leave. <laughs> Does he like it when you talk about him? I said, no, he hates it. Well, why do you do it? Because he won't leave. I'll tell you what he likes to do right now. He likes to sit around the house and watch videos of other kids playing video games. See, some of you are clapping. I didn't know that was an actual video game thing. Reactions. I asked him, what are you doing? I'm watching other kids playing video games. I said, that's, really? Why? <laughs> well, they're professionals. I'm like, why would you watch something that you could be doing? Because they're professionals. That's dumb. Really, Dad? Every Sunday, I see you watching football. <laughs> How come you don't play? Oh, that's true. Point. I didn't yeah. even argue. I just cut off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> My son's problem right now is that he has, according to him, too many options. Okay? That's his problem. I'm like, poor guy. <laughs> right. I have so many options, Dad. I don't know what to do. Write them down, put them on a wheel. Freaking. Today, plumber. <laughs> Something. Oh, man. Well, ain't no the problem is, we go places, people find out he is my son, and then they offer him opportunities. Mm -hmm. He doesn't understand that that's not how the real world works. Right. I know about struggling and clawing and fighting for the opportunity to do something. Yeah. He doesn't get it yet. And that's my fault. For example, Thank I take you. him and his mom out to dinner, okay? I took them both to Red Lobster. Now, Houston, me personally, right. I love Red Lobster, okay? And not even for the seafood. The I'm talking about the biscuits. Yes, it's the biscuits. Cheddar biscuits. Oh, yeah. Woo, y'all. <laughs> the best. The best. I love it. So we're sitting there, and we're having a conversation with our son about life, opportunity. What does he want to do with himself? And as we're talking to him, the manager from Red Lobster walks over to our table. And he's being really cool, right? He's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. He looks at my son. Is this the infamous Frankie? I said, why, well, yes, it is. He just graduated. Congratulations. And he's looking for a job. <laughs> the manager goes, oh, say no more. And he gives my son a business card. And then he starts to say, listen, Frankie, this is all you have to do. Just go online and fill out the application. Once it's registered, call me personally, and I'll see to it that you get an interview. The only position we have available right now is for a host, but there's plenty of room for opportunity here at Red Lobster. Besides, you got one hell of a reference. And then he walked away, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get free biscuits. <laughs> it's like by Ooh, itself. Right. I love it. Man, I'm my so son cool. looks at me and says, I don't want to work at Red Lobster. I said, Frankie, no one is making you work anywhere. This is just another opportunity that you're wasting. Okay, no Red Lobster. What's your plan? Oh, I don't know. I got frustrated. So I raised my voice. Well, you better start thinking. His mom didn't like that. Don't talk to him like that. I said, look, biscuit blocker. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. He trying to land him some biscuits, y'all. I feel you, Fluffy. Them cheddar cheese See, up to this point, we have agreed on how we raise our son. But in this situation, she's trying to protect him from the world. I'm trying to prepare him for the world. If he cannot handle me raising my voice to get his attention, to see the bigger picture, he's not ready for a world that doesn't care about his feelings. Uh, yeah. Because it does, it does not So I say, you know what? I got to have a one-on-one -on -one with him. I got to have a one-on-one -on -one without <laughs> yeah, Mama. So I take him out to the movies. I take him out to the movies, we get in the car, we take off, <laughs> little 20 minute drive, okay? As we're driving, I figure I'll have a little one-on-one -on -one with him. Maybe this way it doesn't feel like a talk-talk. Okay. I thought he understood what I was trying to say. 
It's late, we're leaving the movies, we're pulling out of the parking structure, and out of the corner of my eye, I see a cop car, and I made a sound, I was like, ugh. And Frankie goes, what is it, Dad? I said, there's a cop at the light. What are you worried about? He's gonna stop us. How do you know? Watch. <laughs> I made that left turn. <laughs> Frankie's losing it. It's happening! <laughs> I said, relax. I pull over. <laughs> Cop pulls up from behind. <laughs> Immediately. Driver, windows down. <laughs> Driver, hands out the window. Serious? <laughs> <laughs> Stop Both it. It. He gets to the window and he's got the flashlight and he shines the light right in my face. He's like, license. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. He takes the license and then, of course, you know, do you know why I stopped you? Officer, no, I don't, but I'm sure you're about to tell me. You don't have a front plate on your car. I said, officer, you're absolutely right. I do not have a front plate on my car, but my name is actually on the front of the car. Excuse me, my name is on the front of the car. I own a 2012 Ford Flex, and the Ford Flex has the actual word Flex written on the hood. I have a friend who does custom automotive work, and he took all the letters off the car except for the letter F, and he made letters so that it spells fluffy on the hood. Okay? That's yeah. so. Okay. It sounds impressive. You can do it too for like $23. It's not that bad. <laughs> They're like refrigerator magnets. You can even move them. <laughs> like one day a letter flew off and it said Foofy. <laughs> Look at me, que pendejo. I know, stupid, right? So the officer walks around to the front of the car and he takes his flashlight and he shines the light right on the hood. And he does this, he goes, I knew it. <laughs> and my son goes, what does that mean? I said, that means we get to go. <laughs> Oh, Houston, for the first time in a long time, my son was actually impressed by something that I did. Okay. You got to figure, this is, is not impressive to my son because he grew up With in this. this environment. Yeah. Okay? This yeah. does... You saw that, right? I saw that, too. That flip... That's that like a... Like a feather. <laughs> that's like the third one I've seen. <laughs> Stuff keeps... <laughs> People upstairs from Tomball. Oh, keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you guys what happened. Shakira performed here a few days ago, and, and Shakira has an amazing show, okay? She doesn't just come out and... I think I just hurt myself. <laughs> but there's a part of her show where all of a sudden it goes psh, 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 and there's cannons with confetti that shoot everywhere, right? And I think that was leftover Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we edit out the part where I, I burned 800 calories? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So where nothing. was I? Oh, this does nothing for my son. And the reason why I say that is because he grew up in this environment. He's been to a thousand shows. He's seen me on TV a million times. It's not a big deal. Yeah. But the fact that I got stopped by a cop and the cop recognized me and geeked out and let us go, I earned street cred with my kid. Okay, let's go then. Yeah, Frankie was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I'm like, hell yeah, cuz, that's right. No. <laughs> you a recognized player. We get home, he woke up his mom. Mom, you should have seen it. We got stopped by the cops. Are you okay? Yeah. They recognized dad and they let us go. And she stayed quiet. And I told her, huh? I got recognized. 
And she said, ah. <laughs> 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 I love it. So my son, what he likes to do now, like I said, Frankie likes to stay home and watch videos. I come downstairs one morning, and he's on his phone, but the chair that he's sitting in is turned facing the window, which I thought was weird. So I called to him, Frankie, what are you doing? Nothing. So he can't hear. Frankie, he can't hear. So I walked up from behind, and I realized that my son has uh, little headphones. So I said, oh, okay, okay, yeah, he's not, you know, he's not ignoring me. So I look over his shoulder, and I realize that my son is watching a film. Okay, uh-oh. And I don't mean Frozen. Uh -uh. But those people look cold. Uh -huh. So now I'm standing there, watching it with him. I'm not trying to bond or anything, I'm just trying to figure out the conversation I need to have, and, now we're both watching professionals. Uh oh. So I grab his headphone and I went, hey, is that a good movie? And he freaked out. <laughs> and he threw the phone. <laughs> what else is a kid gonna do? Busted. Busted, busted. <laughs>